Hi Cancer, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. I appreciate you all very much. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, just come back in a couple of days. Fridays are always a general reading. So this reading could involve career, finance, moving, travel, and of course, love. Mondays are something different every week. Could be a more detailed Celtic thought style reading, a love reading. Uh, sometime at the end of August, I'll do a four-month predictive for the months of September through December. So those are also on Mondays. If you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right. What advice do you have for Cancer? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Cancer need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concern with Cancer? Messages for Cancer, please. Okay. We'll start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the Angel Answers Oracle cards. You have the world. We always like to see that. And the wheel. And the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, Nine of Swords. Will they say, don't worry about it? Some of you, though, you've got, you've got money coming in here with the Wheel and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, I like the two sevens, you know, the chariot, your sign, you know, represents cancer that also is a seven. So I do feel like there's something significant about the number seven showing up here. But I also see three tens in the reading. I mean, there's, of course, this is 21, but I just at first just saw those tens. There was something about 10, 10, 10 for you. So I do feel like you've, you've got a new cycle, no doubt about it. When we see something like the world, the wheel, and even this ace of pentacles, this is rock solid. Now, for some of you, it may be a move. I got that. I definitely feel like you have money that's going to come in here. But two, those of you that are looking to move, this is also great energy for travel, but it's having enough money to do it. So there's no shortage here. It's not, you know, putting a trip on credit cards and then spending three years to pay it off. There's definitely go going to be enough. They keep saying there's enough, there's enough. So with something with this, so also if you're moving too, it'll definitely be moving on up with that seven of pentacles. I get that as well, but I feel like the energy of the world and the wheel is going to be exciting. There's a wonderful excitement here. Now, I don't want this just to be all about um, money, but with the strong pentacle energy here, it's, you know, you've got, you've got something coming in that's going to be very solid with finance. However, in terms of relationships too, there may be an unexpected meeting, but it leads to long term. Anybody new that you meet in this, even if it's just a friend, it's going to be somebody who's with you for a long time with this energy together. So somebody that you really vibe with, but I do feel like too, for some of you, it's a chapter in romance. Now, if you're in something already, um, you've got, um, let's see here. We've got Aquarius, Leo, Scorp Scorpio here. We have Taurus here. We have, of course, the earth signs I mentioned, Taurus, Virgo, Cap, water and air as well. So with this though, the you, we've got two portals going on. I'm sorry, I have to keep picking this up. The wheel and the wreath of victory, both portals into the divine. So I do feel like they're telling you, meditate, get calm, get centered. You know, we want to be in that place. And especially if somebody here, if you've been in a funk for a couple of days, meditate, get your mind straight, and you'll clear out of that. Because with this, it's high vibrational. This is go time. This is, in some ways, it's prayers answered. It's really wishes fulfilled. So when you have the, we, uh, the, the, um, world, pardon me on that. It really is the culmination of everything you've asked for. Here it is. This is absolute attainment. There's freedom and happiness. There's absolute joy here. So I do feel for some of you though, it is a change of place. It's a change of physical place that keeps coming in with this. So those of you that are looking to move too, especially if you're looking to make a job change and move, it may be wise to broaden your horizons. I don't know why, but I just heard Austin, Texas. So I don't know why, but I just heard it. So I want to say it. Um, broaden your horizons. Look out into other areas for you if you're looking to change jobs, because it could be a full on geographic too, where you're changing everything. And I almost feel like for somebody here, it's like a new life. 
And that's where everything begins. I also feel like those of you that that's you, you're going to meet somebody too. It's going to be a full on, it's very transformational energy. But those of you that are saying, no, 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 that's not me. With the, the and even if you're not making a big change with job or with, um, you know, move, there may be somebody here in terms of a relationship though. I do get that as well. And with this, it's an absolute match. There's synergy coming in. It's, this is like a brand new lease on life. It is truly, it's the last major arcana. So it's very mature energy. And I do feel like for somebody here, it's very, it's very much a complimentary match. In this case, I feel like there's a lot of similarities um, and some of you, you may have a lot of different people who have come in and you're just waiting. It may take a little bit with that Knight of Pentacles, but I do feel like the right one is on the way. It's just a matter of noticing when you get those Seven of Cups kind of matches and you go, well, it's not them, but they sure as hell were interested in me. It's uh, it's the universe telling you your energy is shifting. So don't, you know, don't get too worried if you get some some interest that's not quite the one because the one is here. And I also feel like it may be another earth sign with that Knight of Pentacles. I feel like it's their energy that whoever it is that you're attracting is the Knight of Pentacles. And again, that's a positive card. It's a bad rap on YouTube. And I feel like people almost dread it when they see it, but it really represents good news is on the way. So with the wheel here, the wheel of life, you've got an evolution happening. It's energy and movement. It's a new cycle and it's always a turn for the better. So some of you get ready because this energy is going to move fast. You will be in the right place at the right time. And I do get for somebody, um, if you have a bit of a gap in terms of work, like if you do change jobs and you're doing something like writing, I get that. You may find you get a little bit of time to write more. There was something with that, like writing a I get like somebody writing a book um, and just finding pockets of time. I mean, you can crank out a lot of writing even in a week if you have the time to do it. But with the wheel too, this is definitely an energy of an advancement. So you're going to be feeling strong. And again, you're going to, there's some kind of an underlying courage with this where you kind of just go, F it, I'm doing it. And so I just, there's like no holding back here. So the night, it comes in, in perfect timing because I say there's no holding back. We do get this bit of a slow moving energy, but honestly, it's long-term planning. That's how I feel it is in connection with this. It really is about looking into the future, making the right moves now. And so in the long run, when you're 80, you're not going to be worried about, I, I shouldn't have retired back then. That was a bad idea. You make the right long-term decisions with this. So again, you don't jump into relationships if it's not the right person. There's no need. There's no desperation. There's no urgency here. It's about the right person at the right time and moving forward. I mentioned before, I do feel like whoever you're attracting has this kind of energy. It's very steady energy. It's like somebody who's very intentional. And they may be intentional with all areas of their lives where they're fairly routine in terms of their sleep patterns. You know, they're not somebody that on the weekend sleeps in until one o'clock and they have to get up at six during the week. I feel like they're very routine and also with food, there's something about them that's like very disciplined. Um, and I think that you're going to enjoy that. It's, it's, I hear safety and security, but it's like that consistency because I also feel like too matching up with this person even though you have an exciting energy here, they're going to be consistent. You're not going to be wondering what are they doing, thinking, is this going anywhere? It's all moving forward. So with the King of Swords here, this is wonderfully intellectual energy. And it also may be related to that night a little bit in terms of who you're attracting. However, with this, it's, it is very clear communication. It's very upfront. Um, there's nothing hidden. There's no second guessing. Swords are about honesty, but they're also about that boldness that I mentioned. So I do feel like somebody here takes a bit of a leap of faith and it's honestly in your favor. It's moving in your favor. With the Ace of Pentacles, you do have a brand new chapter. Long term, like I said, anybody you meet in this energy is going to be with you for a long, long time. It's also, though, new resources coming in. And I do feel like it's that money. That door opens to financial extras and just feeling abundant, feeling like, you know what? I can plan that trip to Indonesia or Zanzibar or wherever the hell you want to go. You know, it's like one of those things where you start to really get into a rhythm. And so I do feel, too, with this, I mentioned the physical body and whoever you're attracting or their, their sort of disciplined energy. 
This also is good for you in terms of health and wellness. If you have some kind of a change that you need to make, if there's some kind of inflammation in your joints or something, I do feel like you'll get introduced introduced to something that'll become a way of life and discipline, but it'll be easy because it's the right thing to do. So with the Seven of Pentacles here, money does grow on trees in the tarot. Now there's a bit of a waiting. There's sort of this, I've done the work, but it's also with the knowing. And I, like I mentioned before, in terms of that Seven of Cups, you're seeing the signs of progress already. So there's a shift happening. There's this tremendous energy coming in, high vibrational energy, but so is this. So it's also the accumulation of wealth. I also feel like too, though, it's going to be those sort of what we consider minor changes right now, discipline right now with money, that later on is going to be very important for you. And I understand when you're you know, 30, 40, 50, and we start talking about when you're 80, you go, I don't care, but you will. There's something about this. It just raises your whole vibration. So with the Seven of Cups, we've dabbled in this already. I do feel like you're going to have a lot of attention from different people, interest in terms of dating and things like that. Don't be discouraged by this. If the the attention that you're getting is like, well, I don't know. That's a, we're not on the same level. Just know that it's your energy, but the right one is here. And so it's just getting you that much closer. So some of you, this may have more to do with moving and career where you're going to have choices. But with the energy of the King of Swords, you've got that analytical mind, that intellect. You're going to make the right choice. Nine of Swords comes in and all it really tells you is don't worry about it. You're spiritually guided with this quilt, right? This is what it represents, that support and guidance. Nines are about attainment and completion. So whatever uncertainty you've had, Cancer, you're completing that cycle, wrapping up that phase with the world and headed into something great. So let's see here what the angels have to say for you. Messages for Cancer, please. <clears throat> Advice for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Cancer need to know, please? Meditation brings answers. We talked about that, didn't we? The portal into the divine. You have abundance, not surprising, because you can see it in the numbers and the cards that are in the tarot reading. No need to worry. Agreed upon there. The tarot said it too. You're ready. And you've got a yes, you create your own reality, Cancer. You can have, do, or be anything. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.